From bugs the size of cars to birds the size of passenger planes, the ancient world was full of scary and frightening beasts in gigantic proportions. These predators were the top of their field and uncontested at their peak. Gratefully, these monstrosities are no longer hunting prey in our modern world. Here are 20 animals you'll be happy are extinct. Megalodon The oceans of the distant past were home to a predator of nightmarish scale, the mighty Megalodon. At lengths reaching 60 feet from tip to tail, this behemoth far exceeded the size of even the largest great white sharks today. Megalodon cruised through the warm coastal waters with immense sweeps of its crescent-shaped tail, seeking prey. When the shadow of this monster fell across a pod of whales, terror must have rippled through them. Megalodon's gaping jaws swung open to reveal nearly 300 teeth, each one a dagger over 7 inches long. Driven by a bite force of 10 tons, these teeth could shear through flesh and crack bone with ease. A whipping strike of its muscular tail propelled Megalodon forward to begin its feeding frenzy. Megalodon was perfectly adapted for its role as apex predator. Its elevated body temperature allowed it to swim faster and range farther than cold-blooded creatures. Even other sharks were not safe from its hunger. Its mighty jaws and serrated teeth made quick work of any prey, large or small. For millions of years, Megalodon dominated the prehistoric seas as a nearly unstoppable hunting machine. Its mysteries extinction. Its mysterious extinction has only added to its legend, leaving behind tantalizing clues that inspire both fascination and fear. Megalodon remains eternally frozen in time as one of the most powerful predators to ever traverse the oceans of our planet. Platybelodon. The forests of ancient Asia were home to many wondrous beasts but few as peculiar as Platybelodon. With its flattened, shovel-like tusks jutting forward from its lower jaw, this creature was a sight to behold. Standing over 10 feet tall at the shoulder and weighing several tons, they lumbered through the swamps and forests, grasping branches with its trunk before cutting them away with a swift slice of its scythe-like tusks. The tusks were perfect adaptations for the tough vegetation that formed the bulk of its diet. To the small mammals that shared their habitat, the herds of them cutting and chewing their way through the dense forest must have looked formidable. Yet, despite their imposing size and strange appearance, these giants were harmless herbivores. The shovel tusks and protruding jaws evolved not for battle, but to access and process food. They spread across continents over 10 million years, adapting their specialized feeding strategy to various environments. While it might look like a monster to modernize, this peculiar animal was just another creature finding its niche in its vanished world. Though scary at first glimpse, there was more to them than met the eye. Titanoboa The jungles of ancient Colombia were home to many creatures, but none inspired more fear than the titanic Titanoboa. This prehistoric snake was an apex predator of nightmarish proportions, growing to 50 feet in length and weighing over a ton. They slithered silently through the murky waters, perfectly camouflaged by their muddy brown skin. With eyes on top of its head, it could scan for prey while nearly completely submerged. Any unsuspecting animal that wandered too close would meet a gruesome fate. In an instant, Titanoboa would strike with lightning speed. Before the hapless creature could react, massive coils would constrict around it with bone-crushing force. The doomed animal would futilely struggle against the snake's immense strength as the life was squeezed out of its body. After dispatching its prey, Titanoboa would unhinge its massive jaws. Rows of backward curving teeth would help wrench open its mouth wide enough to swallow prey whole. Snakes can ingest prey larger than their own heads, and Titanoboa was no exception. With a gulp, even giant crocodiles and massive turtles would disappear down the titan's gullet. Titanoboa ruled the jungles for millions of years, virtually unchecked. Its astounding size and power made it truly terrifying. Even the arrival of early mammals didn't unseat it from its throne. It took a global catastrophe to finally end the reign of this monster snake. But for the creatures that had to live in fear of becoming its next meal, Titanoboa's extinction likely came as a great relief. Smilodon 
the forests and grasslands of ancient North and South America were home to a formidable predator known as Smilodon, the saber-toothed cat. With its muscular build, powerful jaws, and distinctive long canine teeth, Smilodon was a truly scary sight to behold. Standing almost four feet tall at the shoulder, Smilodon was larger and stockier than lions or tigers today. Its short tail helped balance the cat's heavy head and thick neck, which contained incredibly strong jaw muscles. When Smilodon opened its mouth, its upper canines would protrude up to seven inches long. Fearsome curved knives perfectly suited for stabbing and killing prey. Smilodon likely lived in hunted and prides, corralling large herbivores like bison, horses, and even juvenile mammoths. Using its heavily muscled forelimbs to wrestle prey to the ground, Smilodon would then deliver a fatal bite with its dagger-like fangs. The unfortunate victim would quickly bleed out from the punctured jugular. They had a deadly hunting technique unmatched by any predator. For over a million years, they honed their skills as hunters across two continents. But during the last ice age, climate change and disappearing populations of large plant eaters spelled trouble. Unable to adapt quickly enough, this scary saber-toothed cat met its extinction, leaving behind only fossilized remains. Though gone for 10,000 years, the memory of its imposing size and terrifying teeth lives on as Smilodon continues to capture our imaginations. Liviatan. In the ancient seas, danger lurked below the waves. Among the Leviathans that ruled the depths, perhaps none inspired more fear than Liviatan. The massive sperm whale cruised the waters, its keen senses scouting for prey. At over 50 feet long, they were beasts surpassed only by the mighty Megalodon in size. But it wasn't just size that made it a terror. They're blessed with teeth the likes of which would never be seen again. Each pearly razor stretched over a foot in length, serrated edges gleaming with death. With these ivory daggers, they could pierce the thickest blubber or sever the mightiest fin with equal ease. Its lower jaw, lined with three dozen knives, could shear through a whale's flesh as easily as a sailor's. When hunger struck, they would sweep into the baleen herds, picking off the young and elderly with merciless efficiency. A flick of its jaws, and half a ton of meat and blubber would disappear down its maw. Few could stand against its prowess, save one equal, Megalodon, the largest shark ever known. The seas ran red when these titans dueled, their ferocity unleashing primal terrors long forgotten by lesser beasts. Locked in an eternal struggle for dominance, the Leviathans waged war across the ancient oceans, fighting to claim their lost kingdoms of blood and terror. Their clash haunts the rippled waves still, a reminder that in the ancient seas, true monsters once reigned supreme. Spinosaurus The warm waters of the ancient river flowed lazily through the dense forest. Above the surface, ripples broke the midday heat. Suddenly, a massive shape emerged from the depths. Spinosaurus heaved its massive bulk onto the shore, sending water cascading back into the river. Even soaked, its huge size was immediately apparent. A ridge of bony spines ran down its back, accompanied by strange blue spots. It gave a low rumble and shook itself dry. As it moved, its narrow crocodilian head swiveled, scanning for any sign of movement. Rows of conical teeth lined powerful jaws, perfectly adapted for gripping slippery aquatic prey. But those jaws were just as suited to tearing flesh on land. Muscles rippled under sodden skin as it twisted. Two soulless black eyes reflected a primal killing instinct, showing this was no ordinary predator. Massive clawed forelimbs, usually submerged, hinted at its raw power on display. This was truly a beast of nightmares, more terrifying than any monster of legend. For a moment, it paused, as if contemplating sinking back into the cool waters of the river. But then its head snapped around, catching a new scent on the breeze. With a snort, Spinosaurus lumbered into the trees, disappearing into the humid foliage as swiftly as it had emerged. The sight of such a killer in full view was a jarring reminder of the dangers that once roamed the earth. It was a relief such a terrifying creature was lost to the ages. Tyrannosaurus Rex The massive creature slowly lumbered through the jungle, its menacing form silhouetted against the setting sun. Even at a distance, all other animals gave it a wide berth, sensing its dominance over this ancient land. This was Tyrannosaurus Rex, 
the apex predator of its time. While experts still have much to learn about the behaviors of T-Rex, one thing is clear. It struck fear into all who encountered it. Its gigantic size and bone-crushing bite alone were enough to intimidate any prey, but its predatory instincts is what truly set it apart. Unlike other dinosaurs that scavenged, T-Rex lived for the thrill of the hunt. Nothing was off-limits when it came to feeding its insatiable appetite. Even its own kind were not safe from its ferocity. Stories of cannibalism show just how ruthless it could be. As the sun set behind it, the T-Rex came to a stop and let out an ear-splitting roar that echoed through the trees. It needed no other means to assert its rule over the land. This brief glimpse into its daily life reminds us of the true terror it once inspired. While its reign came to an end with the catastrophic asteroid, the legend of T-Rex lives on. In our imaginations, we can still picture it roaming these jungles, striking fear into all who had the misfortune of crossing its path. It remains one of the most awe-inspiring creatures to have ever existed, a reminder of the formidable forces of nature that shaped our world so long ago. Mosasaurus Just picture yourself relaxing in the water, catching some waves, when suddenly a massive shadow darkens the water beneath you. You peer down into the murky blue and find yourself staring into the gaping jaws of the Mosasaurus, lined with razor-sharp teeth as long as bananas. A wave of primordial terror washes over you as you gaze upon this underwater behemoth. At over 50 feet long, this thing was practically the length of a school bus and would have no problem snacking on you if it was still around today. But size was just one piece of why the Mosasaurus was so fearsome. This apex predator ruled the oceans and munched on anything it could sink its teeth into. Fish, sharks, smaller animals, and even shelled amenities were all on the menu. Talk about an indiscriminate appetite. Equipped with powerful flippers and a long muscular tail, the Mosasaurus was like the Michael Phelps of the Cretaceous period. It could chase down prey with terrifying speed, leaving hapless animals no chance of escape. Trying to outswim this thing would be like a kid racing an Olympic medalist. No contest. If this animal's size and speed weren't enough, it was also an ambush predator, lurking in the depths and striking without warning when prey came near. One second you'd be swimming along without a care, the next you'd be locked in the jaws of the Mosasaurus as it dragged you into the abyss. No wonder this thing was the nightmare of the Cretaceous seas. Terror Birds the jungles and grasslands of ancient South America were home to many beasts, both wondrous and terrifying. But none inspired more dread in the hearts of mammals, both large and small, than the giant terror bird known as Forosakos. These colossal birds stood over eight feet tall, casting ominous shadows as they stalked through the underbrush. Their massive hooked beaks could snap the spine of any creature foolish enough to cross their path, and their piercing talons were adept at spearing prey and holding it in place while those devastating beaks went to work. When they set their sights on you, there was little hope of escape. These titans could sprint at speeds over 30 miles per hour, their powerful legs eating up the ground. A quick snap of the neck was all it took for that cruel beak to end you. Many early humans wandered too far from their tribe only to meet their doom in the clutches of this creature. The terror bird would grab them in an instant, pinning them helplessly to the earth as it pecked and tore. Their screams would echo through the jungle, striking fear into all who heard them. But it was too late. Some say they were the true rulers of South America's wilds, even more fearsome than the mighty saber-toothed cats. All creatures knew to flee at the first sign of these feathered terrors. Even the massive ancient crocodiles would slip silently into the rivers when the giant birds hoots and shrieks rang out through the trees. Megatherium In the ancient landscapes of South America roamed a creature that would have struck fear into the hearts of even the boldest explorers, the giant ground sloth Megatherium. With its colossal size, formidable claws, and ability to rise up on its hind legs, this towering beast would have been an intimidating sight. At over 6 meters tall, they were one of the largest mammals ever to walk the earth. Simply laying eyes on an animal of such monumental proportions would surely give pause to any intrepid travelers. Its forelimbs were adorned with long, curved claws, perfect for gathering vegetation, but could also be a deadly weapon if provoked. 
but the scariest aspect was its ability to assume a bipedal stance, balancing on its thick tail and standing tall to scan its domain. Encountering this hulking giant reared up in its hind legs would be the stuff of nightmares. Weighing over four tons, it would have dwarfed even a brontosaurus. Remains of megatherium bearing the marks of butcheries indicate that early humans were bold enough to hunt these mega beasts. Bringing down such a massive creature surely required tremendous courage, teamwork, and no small amount of madness. The audacity of our ancestors in facing off against these towering sloths is truly remarkable. Though it perished long ago, imagine stumbling upon Megatherium in its prime, the giant ground sloth that would surely have humbled even the most daring explorer. We can consider ourselves fortunate that such formidable beasts are extinct, no longer roaming the wilds. The world is a far less perilous place without them. Now let's get ready for today's missing topic. The mighty Rexadecoid was a ferocious beast that hunted prey over a hundred million years ago. Recently on an expedition on an island in the Pacific Ocean, archaeologists were able to find the only fossilized specimen perfectly preserved in tar. Its preserved exterior resembling modern scales proved delightful for the discovering scientists, as usually only bones have been found previously. From this new information, they were able to learn much more about the mighty predator. This monster is believed to have swam in oceans around the Pacific coast hundreds of millennia ago. Its giant teeth were the size of light posts and could crush stone. It's now known that it's the ancestor to modern alligators, but they were on a much more massive scale. Their behavior and hunting skills would resemble that of modern alligators. Imagine if the mighty T-Rex could swim and hunt hidden under watery reflections you now have a good idea of how large and intimidating these beasts were. Only the largest of dinosaurs could compete with these predators, and most would avoid waters where they were known to hunt. So now we want to hear from you. Do you think it'd be possible for modern humans to coexist with these ancient creatures, or is it better that they're lost to time? Would it be beneficial to bring these beasts back like in movies like Jurassic Park, or is it better for everyone that they stay firmly in the past? Drop those comments below and make sure to use hashtag missing topic. Helicoprion. The prehistoric oceans harbored a creature that inspires dread and fascination. Helicoprion was an apex predator of the Permian period, approximately 290 million years ago. Its most striking feature was a jaw lined with a spiral whorl of serrated teeth resembling a circular saw. Estimated to reach lengths over 5 meters, Helicoprion would have been a giant compared to most modern sharks. As a dominant predator of its era, it likely preyed upon many species of fish and cephalopods. The limited number of fossils, consisting mostly of detached tooth whorls, makes it challenging for scientists to reconstruct its anatomy and behavior. This enhances the creature's mystique. Some aspects of this animal remain ambiguous, fueling public curiosity. While popular culture often depicts it as a monster, they were simply one of many remarkable organisms that evolved in ancient seas. Today, they live on only in the imagination. Even as knowledge of prehistoric life expands, some creatures retain an aura of mystery. Though it vanished long ago, the spiral-toothed predator continues to kindle feelings of awe and unease. Carbonemis the lush wetlands of the Paleocene teemed with gigantic flora and fauna unseen before or since. It was amid this primordial landscape that one immense reptile reigned as the true monarch of its murky domain. Carbonemis This turtle was an astounding one in scale as in armor. Measuring longer than a full-grown man, they strode to shallows beneath a shell of pure bone, its girth protected by gnarly spiked scutes. With such fortifications, no predator dared attack this leviathan. Indeed, some question if they truly avoided all confrontation. Did this great turtle, when conditions favored, stalk the wetlands not just as herbivore but opportunistic carnivore? Its immense jaws were surely powerful enough to overpower smaller prey. Alone in a lost epoch, they inhabited mysterious twilight worlds where facts remain few and speculation runs rich. Yet for all the riddles it leaves behind, one truth shines clear. In an alien land and time before humankind, they reigned supreme. 
None could match their sheer size or natural suit of armor. Truly, this ancient giant turtle was a ponder of the prehistoric, a colossus locked in lost ages. As we continue to look back, more strange marvels of that prime are sure to emerge. Ecolopterus Ecolopterus is an extinct genus of Eurypterid, also known as sea scorpions, that lived during the Silurian period approximately 460 million years ago. It's considered one of the largest anthropods to have ever existed. It was so colossal that even Shaquille O'Neal would have seemed like a mere minnow in comparison. This remarkable arthropod from ancient times ruled the underwater realm like no other. The impressive size is one of the reasons it's often regarded as intimidating. Its elongated body was equipped with powerful legs and a long paddle-like tail, enabling it to be a highly efficient swimmer. It likely inhabited shallow coastal waters and used its formidable swimming abilities to pursue and capture prey. If there were underwater Olympics back then, this magnificent creature would have easily clinched the gold medal. In addition to its size, they had a striking appearance. They possessed a pair of large compound eyes that provided excellent vision, allowing it to locate and track potential prey. Its front arms were formidable pincers, which were likely used to capture and immobilize its victims. These features contributed to its predatory nature and made it a formidable hunter in the ancient aquatic waters. Its impressive size and predatory tendencies make it a fascinating creature to study and imagine how it once roamed the seas. Quetzalcoatlus Quetzalcoatlus was a massive pterosaur with a wingspan as wide as a basketball court. It ruled the skies during the late Cretaceous and had a knack for looking cool while flying. Its lightweight body, sharp beak, and carnivorous diet made it a force of nature. The name derives from the Aztec god, who was often depicted as a feathered serpent. With a wingspan reaching up to 36 feet, they were one of the largest pterosaurs ever discovered. Its size was comparable to that of a small airplane. It stood roughly as tall as a giraffe. In terms of diet, they were carnivores. It's believed that they've primarily fed on fish, small vertebrates, and possibly carrion. Its long, pointed beak and sharp teeth were well-suited for capturing and tearing apart its prey. They had a unique wing structure. Their wings were primarily supported by an elongated fourth finger, with a membrane of skin stretching between it and the body. This design allowed for efficient flight and enabled them to soar through the air with relative ease. Despite its massive size, they were well adapted for flight. They had hollow bones, similar to modern birds, which helped reduce its weight. It likely used its strong wing muscles to generate enough power for takeoff and sustained flight. Although it could take off from the ground and strut around like it owned the place, they met their end during the mass extinction event 60 million years ago. Gigantopithecus The dense forests of the ancient past were home to many strange creatures. Among the most fearsome was the giant ape known as Gigantopithecus. According to records, it stood over 10 feet tall with an immense muscular physique and short temper. Its ferocity struck fear into the hearts of an any unfortunate enough to cross its path. Very little was definitively known about these creatures, as only fragmented bones and scattered teeth remain from these long-extinct giants. However, those sparse artifacts provide some insight into its terrifying nature. Its massive jaws were apparently capable of crushing rocks. Its teeth were reported to be as long as a human hand. Clearly, this was an ape built for destruction with strength rivaling any beast in the forest. Any creature foolish enough to draw too close would face its berserk rage. Even the most fearsome predators gave these apes a wide berth, wanting no part of their monstrous power and fury. Some folklore claims they stood as tall as three men and could uproot full-grown trees with ease. While such tales are likely exaggerated, one needs only examine the shards of its bones to feel small in comparison. Fortunately for early humans, the advancing of colder times spelled doom for the dense forest and the giants within. As the trees disappeared, so too did the animal, and its ferocity and size was no match against the changing climate. Dunkleosteus During the late Devonian period in the ancient oceans, a formidable creature emerged that would come to rule the seas. Known as Dunkleosteus, it towered above all other life in the waters, reaching enormous sizes never seen before. Its hulking armor-plated body struck fear into the hearts of lesser creatures that lived in the oceans. 
it wasn't only just Dunkley Ostia's colossal size that made it so terrifying. Hidden behind bony shields in its jaws were rows of razor-sharp teeth that could crush the hardest shells with ease. With a bite force stronger than any other fish, past or present, it could tear into its prey lightning fast, consuming entire meals in the blink of an eye. There was no escape once Dunkley Ostias had its sights set on another creature. With muscles more powerful than any land animal, it gave relentless pursuit to any prey that dared turn to face it. As the undisputed ruler of its world, Dunkley Ostias lived a life of abundance, preying on all others within it. Yet like all empires, its reign was not meant to last forever. As evolutionary changes altered the seas, even this mighty monster met its match. When the last Dunkleosteus finally disappeared beneath the waves, the oceans breathed a sigh of relief. Its passing opened opportunities for new apex predators to rise. Anthroplera, the dense forest that covered the land during the Carboniferous period around 300 million years ago, teemed with an incredible diversity of plant and animal life. Among the towering tree ferns and seed ferns that populated these forests lurked an unusual creature unlike anything seen before or since. Known as Arthropleura, this armored anthropod was massive in size, growing as large as a sport utility vehicle. Leg after armored leg, they carried their bulky form through dense undergrowth of the forest floor. As an evolutionary marvel crafted over eons, its plated hide and spiked armor made it a living tank. Towering over even the largest plant eaters of the forest, none would dare challenge its dominion on the ground. Its spiked armor turned aside even the most desperate bites from other creatures, while its powerful jaws within could grind the toughest plant materials to dust. The emergence of amphibians onto the scene brought new predators capable of challenging their resources. Additionally, as the climate shifted and forests gave way to open savannas, its specialized lifestyle as a forest dweller could no longer be sustained. The last of the giant millipedes disappeared along with the world that had nurtured it for so long, leaving behind only its plated shells as clues of the wonders it once was. Perhaps that is reason enough alone to feel grateful it remains confined to the pages of history. Meganura It was a time long before any humans walked the earth, during an age where nature's creations knew no bounds. Towering trees filled the skies with their leafy canopies, and below swarmed insects of unthinkable size. None were more deadly than the fearsome Meganura. With a wingspan much greater than any modern bird of prey, the Meganura cast shadows over the forest floor as it hunted. Its six eyes scanned for any movement below, its spined legs ready to trap unsuspecting victims in an instant. Woe to the lesser insects that caught its attention, for it faced a gruesome end as the Meganura feasted. Its armored body was built for but one purpose, to reign as the top predator. For all its ferocity, their time was not eternal. As the earth changed around it, this mighty insect could not change with it. The thick forest that had nourished its kind the thick forest that had nourished its kind for so long began to thin. The rich oxygen in the air that had given the Meganura strength started to fade, and so the last of the giants took wing never to be seen again by any living eyes. Nature had crafted it as a wonder, but also ensured it would not outlive its place in the world. Now only its fossil remains remain. Perhaps that's mercy, for if such a beast existed today, no one could feel safe beneath the sun. Camaroceros The ancient seas were home to a spectacular array of bizarre and awe-inspiring marine life. Among the most unusual was the Camaroceros, an apex predator with no equal in its domain. Coiled safely within its spiraling shell, which could extend over six meters in length, it was a truly intimidating beast. Protected by its sturdy casing, these animals prowled the seafloor in search of prey. With patience and stealth, it would lay in ambush near reefs and sediment deposits, camouflaged among the bottom clutter. Using its keen senses, it tracked the movements of other creatures that swam or scuttled by, such as nimble triobites darting across the substrate. When opportunity struck, these grasping tentacles would strike with lightning speed, extending from the shelter of its shell. The tentacles were tipped with hooked beaks, perfectly designed for grabbing victims struggling helplessly in its grasp. A single bite was enough to puncture even the toughest exoskeletons. Nothing could escape once ensnared in the iron grip of the Camaroceros. 
Its bizarre coiled form and grasping arms instilled a primal sense of unease. While they may have struck terror into the hearts of its prey, modern humans have little cause for concern at this monstrosity as it's been extinct. All that remains is to imagine the terrors that once prowled the dark depths and to feel gratitude that such nightmarish monsters no longer haunt the oceans of today. Dinosuchus Dinosuchus truly was the picture of might and dominance during the late Cretaceous period. This 40-foot behemoth stalked North America's rivers and estuaries some 75 million years ago. Its armored skull, ringed with serrated teeth the size of bananas, was a fearsome sight. Behind those jaws lay rows of replaceable teeth, ideal for dispatching prey with bone-crushing force. Massive paddle-like limbs propelled these animals through the water with stealth and speed. Its diminutive eyes, placed high on the head, allowed it to lie in ambush with only its nostrils exposed. They held sway over a wide range of dinosaurs, including young hadrosaurs, that ventured to drink. Larger herbivores were not immune either if caught alone. Even smaller contemporary alligators would have given this beast its space. When not hunting, it likely basked in the sun along mudflats and sandbars. Models suggest they spent much of their time submerged, breathing through its nostrils like a crocodile. Its shelf-like scales may have supported algae growth, camouflaging the great reptile in murky waters. While extinct today, they remind us that for millions of years, Earth belonged not to mammals but to giant beasts. In their day, these creatures reigned over all who crashed its watery path. Mm-hmm. <laughs>